Hello everyone. So I have an article that I want to read for you right now and at the very end I'll put up a video of the person saying the um, this stuff. Um, it's just jaw dropping. Um, if you saw my community tab from last night then this is kind of going off of that. If you haven't, um, this is a an article about something that I saw on the news last night about New Zealand putting their sick patients into mandatory quarantine camps. Now, I found the article, and I want to read it for you before I play the the um, video. Now, I'm just going to play the voice, um, so it's hard to see her face. But when you see her face, maybe I'll try to do her face, because if you watch it, she smiles through this thing, and it's so demonic and um after you hear the article, you'll understand why. So I'm going to skip over some of the words because I'll be flagged. So you know what sickness I'm talking about, guys. It's the one that's going around, okay? So just keep that in mind. New Zealand to put their sick patients into mandatory quarantine camps. In a move right out of George Orwell's 1984, New Zealand has announced it would put all sick patients into mandatory quarantine camps. The Prime Minister of New Zealand has said that your, that your each and every activity will be monitored in these camps and those that refuse to be tested will be forced to stay in the camps for a longer duration. New Zealand's Director General of Health, Dr. Ashley Bloomfield, announced that at a press conference that the use of quarantine facilities marks a major departure from the positive cases uh, from how positive cases were managed by health officials when New Zealand was last at level three as cases earlier in the year were told to simply self-isolate in their homes. Dr. Bloomfield said the mandatory quarantine will apply to both new cases and, if necessary, close family members who might be at risk. It shows how serious we are about limiting any risk of ongoing transmission, even in self-isolation and including to others in the household, he said. A reminder, the facilities have been set up specifically and have excellent processes and resources in place to look after people with this sickness, including health staff on site at all times. It will help us avoid any further um, spread to the community as part of our overall response. The announcement didn't say much about how the quarantine would be. However, New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern in a Facebook Live post explained in detail how each and every activity will be monitored in these camps. And those that refuse to be tested would be forced to stay in the camps for a longer duration. Then it goes on to tell what she said. It says, we are quarantining everyone. Now we are also mandating testing. That makes us the most stringent in the world. There are countries that are requiring self-isolation. We're taking it a bit further. If anyone moves into a common area or is getting some fresh air, which is all monitored, no one can do that on their own. They can only leave or be in a space to get a little bit of fresh air if they are supervised because, of course, it's a quarantine facility. We have put in millions of dollars into supporting that to happen. I have a number of questions about people refusing. What do we do if someone refuses to be tested, she says. Well, they can't now. If someone refuses in our facility to be tested, they have to keep staying. So they won't be allowed to leave for 14 days. They have to stay for another 14 days. So it's pretty incentive. You either get your test done and make sure you're cleaned, or, I'm sorry, make sure you're cleared, or we'll keep you in the facility longer. So I think most people will look at it and say, I will take the test. Interestingly, earlier, New Zealand's de uh, deputy opposition leader accused the government of stage managing the outbreak over a week. So, um, craziness, right? This is only just the beginning, and it's coming to a town near you. Um, I'm going to play, it's basically the same. 
It's the same thing what I just read, but I want you to hear it from her mouth. I want you to see it and hear it. So I'll play her face so you can see it. And, um, you know, this is the end times speaking loud and clear. The internment camps that are popping up all over, you're going to find yourself in one. If you want your normal life back, you're going to have to be vaccinated. If you want your normal life back, you're going to have to have this COVID test. They're not going to let you out until you have this vaccine. Remember, it was a couple months ago I did a video stating that, how the vaccine has a mark in it. Um, and you're not going to be able to leave without this thing. And that's how you're going to be able to buy and sell and how you're going to be able to eat, drink, and be merry. Um, is you're going to have to have this vaccine. And they're going to keep you in there and keep you monitored. And anybody who doesn't want to get the vaccine or get tested, you're going to keep staying in this camp. So this just proves what I've been saying. Um, this is coming up. Um, just because this is New Zealand does not mean that it's not happening all over. There's one popping up in Canada that people are trying to, to mock and say, oh, no, that's not true. It is true. So it's, it's happening all over, and the United States is going to be next. So I'm going to go ahead and play that video for you, and then um, you can just see for yourself. And I highly suggest, if you don't know Jesus, I pray that you feel the urge to do it now. The, now is the day of salvation. Like, not the next second, but right this second. Jesus is coming, and you guys need to make a decision for him today. Don't wait until the rapture happens and then decide, because if you couldn't accept him before the rapture, your likelihood is you're not going to accept him after. You're not going to believe that the rapture even happened. So I'm going to leave that with you, and then I'll go ahead and play the video, and I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful rest of your day. Okay forget what I was saying about the video. I can't get the video to play. It keeps stopping. So I'm going to put the link down below and then you guys can go and look on the, um, the link and it'll have the video on there and you can see it for yourself. Maybe you'll have some luck. Um, my Wi-Fi is pretty messed up, so I was able to see it a little bit. Um, and then I saw it on the news last night. So anyways, I'm going to post the um the link below so you guys can go over there and take a look for yourself and watch the video and yeah so i just wanted to share that little bit <laughs> anyways guys i hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of your day